Hi everyone, thank you once again for joining us on Fact versus Fiction. My name is Radhika Bajaj and with me is Arches. Hi there Arches. Hi Radhika. So guys, today we actually want to show you uh, some graphic images. We advise viewer discretion here. These images are which are very viral on Twitter par and other social media platforms as well. The claim is that uh, the woman who is seen grievously injured in these images is a journalist and she was beaten up after she asked questions uh, to the government about the missing IAF plane. Uh, this claim is that uh, ye kafi viral hai images and uh, people are writing things like Sarkar se sawal poochne par Mumbai ki varisht mahila patrakar Nitika Rao ji ke upar hua pran ghatak hamla. So, aise captions ke saath ye pictures viral hai and they're obviously upsetting to see because she, her face is pretty badly battered in the images. So, what is the truth here? Did this incident actually take place in Mumbai? So, I mean, at first I'd respond that no, this, this entire claim is misleading. And how we went about finding it, the biggest challenge we faced was finding out who the woman is actually. Hmm. So first we looked uh, for her name Nitika Rao on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, we couldn't find anything. Then we searched for her name in the Dev Nagri script okay. and led to a successful search result on Facebook uh, to a post made by a page called Bihar News Express. Gupta from 2017. Okay. And the post which carried a photo claimed that the Akhil Bharatiya Patrakar Suraksha Samiti was felicitating a journalist called Nitika Rao hmm. after she was made the head of the Maharashtra wing of the council. Okay. So we reached out to the general secretary of this council of the Samiti hmm. who told us, who confirmed to us that Nitika Rao was in fact uh, attacked a couple of days ago. Okay. So we were finally able to get in touch with uh, Rao who is currently at a hospital in Kalyan who actually shared with us the whole story of how this came to be. Okay. And she said that she was recently fighting, uh, defending for uh, fighting for uh, the rights of a group of farmers who were promised com compensation hmm. uh, for land by a builder okay. and the promise was not made after hmm. which Rao had gone to co confront the builder herself okay. and so she said that she uh, she put out an allegation that the builder had sent the goons a couple of days ago hmm. to beat her up hmm. regarding this matter actually hmm. and that she also confirmed that it was nothing it had nothing to do with her questioning the government about missing airplanes hmm. so there it goes okay so clearly this is not connected to any questions being raised about the IAF uh, plane uh, the debris of which by the way was uh, found in Arunachal Pradesh but uh, this lady of course has been uh, battered uh, as the images uh, show. Uh, what's interesting here is that everybody believed the story including councils of journalists right. uh, in Chandigarh and Punjab I believe who actually uh, you know condemned uh, this incident on social yeah. media. Well I mean you could see that there's actually a trend about attacks on journalists by the government a clamp down and in UP is a big example of that. So it's it's a trend and it's very easy to put out a little fake narrative. Mm. And you know, it's easy for people to like kind of believe it, you know, because you can see this happening for real in certain places. Mm. So I think that might have something to do with it. All right, guys. But if you come across these images, do not share them forward. They're disturbing to look at and they are being forwarded with a false narrative. With that, we'll wrap up this edition of Fact versus Fiction. Our helpline number is on your screen. If you have messages that you want to verify, this is where you forward them and we would love to fact check those for you. For the moment, thank you for tuning in.